I'm Sarah Borkson with REIT.com. Welcome to the monthly quick study. I'm here with my colleague Brad Case, who's going to give us an idea of how REITs performed in October. Brad, can you give us an idea of the main trends in October? It was a, it was a good month for REITs. REITs were up 4.33% on the, on the month. That's just a shade less than the stock market. REITs were actually leading the stock market for most of the month. And in the last few days, uh, there was a down, downdraft in the market, and that hit REITs, REITs harder than the rest of the stock market. So they ended up a little bit less, less than, than the market as a whole. But if you look at REITs' performance over the, over the year as a whole, they're up 7.5%. That's well below, well below the stock market. It's been a year of recovery for the broad stock market. And of course, the real estate market hit its recovery early. And therefore, the, on the, for the year as a whole, REITs are well behind the pace of the stock market. But that's nothing to, nothing to uh, be disappointed about because REIT investors still have, have made 7.5% on the year, and that's a very good year. What sectors in particular did you think performed well in October? Um, the strongest sectors were the industrial sector and the retail sector, especially freestanding retail and shopping centers. Um, freestanding retail and shopping centers were both up more than 6% for the month and are up 14% and 12% for the year as a whole. The other really, really impressive performer this, this year to date has been the commercial mortgage REIT um, sector. That's gained more than 26% on the year and that's above the pace of the stock market. Um, and yet, the yields are still very high, really throughout the REIT space. Um, but, for, uh, but, but for mortgage REITs, for example, yields are still above 10%. Um, in, a, in, a, in an environment where, it's still, where it continues to be uh, difficult to find strong yields, uh, REITs still stand out. And even, even equity REITs have yields above 3.5% still. Um, Brad, wh what's behind the trends that you're seeing in October? Well, if you look at what happened during October, for most of the month, as I mentioned, the, the REIT market outperformed the stock market, and then the, mar the month finished with four down days. And, and that was really, I think, again, a concern about the, the future course of interest rates. Uh, the Federal Reserve um, released some, some minutes that indicated that, that, that gave some investors um, concern that they might taper off their purchase of assets, and that would cause interest rates to go up. That's really continued to be a surprise to me that the market has reacted negatively to that. Because what we've seen historically speaking again and again is that when interest rates go up, it's because the economy is doing better. And that's exactly what the Federal Reserve is talking about. They're saying if the economy continues to strengthen, then we won't need to do, do taper. Uh, we won't need to do the asset purchases and we'll, we'll be in a position to taper. And the market has, seems to have responded as if the Federal Reserve is talking about raising interest rates even if the economy is not doing well. But that's not what the, Reserve, what the Federal Reserve is saying. And I think that, that uh, dro drove the performance of the REIT market in the last few days of October. Thank you, Brad. For more information on all things REIT, please visit REIT.com. Mm -hmm.